Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay. I'm on most social media platforms as she's basically. Those are the formalities. Actually, one more, make sure you like and subscribe. I've been toying with the idea of vlogging and it's like, girl, either you're gonna do it or you're not. And one of the main reasons I don't wanna do it is because I'm just, I'm not a perfectionist, but I like to have things, you know, nicely cleaned up and tidy and put together for my videos. And a vlog doesn't allow you to do that because I'm showing you the real deal what I have going on and a sort of negative situation arose. I am a small business owner. My business is called Paper Standards and uh, a customer pointed out a product issue to me. And when I did my research in my system, I realized that this impacts 31 of my customers. So I need to resolve this issue for 31 people. Um, so yeah, I figured this is the perfect time to vlog. This is something that would typically stress me out. It would have my anxiety through the roof. I would be losing sleep like, oh my God, my customers are gonna hate me. I did something wrong. This is terrible. No one's ever gonna shop with me again. Um, but I feel like vlogging kind of simmers down my anxiety. It's gonna be fun to go through the process and show you all the random things that I do while I'm working. So let's go. I think I'm gonna start by just tidying up my desk a bit. I do need to have a semi clean workspace to get started. But you know, once you're actually working, you make a mess if you're actually working. So it is what it is. But I'm gonna just do a little tidying up. Um, and then we'll get into all the things that I need to get done. All right, so before I get started with my project, I had a bulk order from a company that does corporate gifting and the order went to a really big company like something that we all know and grew up on i don't know what the protocol is as far as sharing it or not so i just rather be safe than sorry um but they actually circled back and asked to buy more so i just saw the lady's email um, i'm just gonna go in really quickly and invoice her so that she could pay at her convenience and yeah that was just exciting number one to even be sought out um for that gifting circumstance and for them to come back and reorder is kind of cool so that is a win since we kind of have a loss going on right now it's a little a little win for us so i'm gonna go in and set up her invoice and then i'll move on to my project that i have to take care of so basically with the quality issue that i'm dealing with just to give you like a quick breakdown my business is called paper standards i sell refillable and customizable agendas so the difference between that and like a planner that you would buy out of the store is that you buy the cover from me and then you buy various inserts to go inside of it and you can buy covers and covers and inserts from literally anywhere which is the cool thing about customizing your agenda you can get what actually works for you most people go in the store buy a planner and it sits on their desk till the next year till 2023 so i love custom planning i promote it to everyone and that's what i sell so obviously with any date planning, um, accuracy is 100% important because there are dates and it needs to be correct. So basically my customer pointed out to me that there's some duplicate pages in the design that make the dates skip backwards and then skip forward again. So at first I was like so stressed out, like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to replace all these pages, which I have no problem replacing the pages for my customers, but just as far as me being a one woman show and getting it done. But I realized that they can just remove all those incorrect pages and I technically only need to send them two replacement pages. So two sheets of paper is what I need to send for 31 people. So right now I'm gonna pull the document up, I'm gonna edit the error out and I'm gonna reprint those pages for my customers and then I'm going to do like some special packaging for them that explains what the issue was, how to add the new inserts in and then I'm likely gonna give them a discount card for their next purchase. Just it's not really a total inconvenience because most of them probably haven't noticed yet. It's in future months. Um, but I just, that's just how I am. I like for my customers to have a good experience. I know how important it is for people to get what they paid for, number one, because we're in a time where people are working hard for their money. So nobody wants to waste their money. So I'll just send them like a little loyalty discount, thanking them for their patience. Um, and yeah, that's how we're going to, going to handle this one. All right, so I have my little sticky notes telling me where I need to make the adjustments. I'm just going to correct that.
got the printer ready and now I'm going to get the copies done for the printing. the little note that I'm gonna put in each package explaining to them why they're receiving these replacement pages and how to set them up in, within the pages that they already have. So I'm gonna go in Canva and do that very, very quickly. <laughs> how the cover sheet is going to look looks good and let me do the back side just make sure that's lined up properly <laughs> So our backside came out good as well with the instructions. So I'm gonna take the replacement sheets, the cover page, and package everything inside of the plastic self-seal bag so they stay safe. Um, and then we can move on to creating their little custom discount card and packing these up and getting them shipped out because we wanna get this fixed as soon as possible. <laughs> like so tedious I need to seal them all and get them in their shipping mailers um, and then I'm gonna work on the discount cards and getting the labels on and then we should be good to go this is kind of a long long tedious project but I'd rather just get it all done in one sitting all right so I got all the inserts package i'm gonna start adding them to the mailers so i need a total of 31 and actually one of the orders was two it was two separate orders where she got two copies of this so i'm gonna just put two in one envelope and that'll be that then we have to print out the discount cards and get some shipping labels on these and that should be it all right, so now I'm gonna print out the discount cards. I have the Avery 5871 Clean Edge business cards. I love these because they don't look like you bought them from Staples and they ripped them apart. They have the clean edge. The preparation is not like sharp toothy, okay? So I love these. All you have to do is get your design together, go on avery.com, type in the product number, which is 5871. It's gonna bring up the template, start designing. All right, so we got 5871, which is the clean edge business cards. And I'm gonna need 30, there's 10 on each sheet. So I'm doing three sheets. You do the sheets one at a time in your printer and it tells you front side, back side, they're very easy to use. Just gonna put one in. And I actually have to update my printer settings to let it know that I'm changing this as like a heavier paper. So you just wanna make sure you do that so your printer does not jam on you. So let me upload my image. So I saved my design from Canva as a PNG. Now, why would you come on here like that? Oh, small. 
I don't like when it does that. Then it'd be looking blurry. Let's see, let's see. I am tired, y'all. Oh my god, look at my face. I am so tired. This is a long project. This is one of those things I just have to do in one sitting because if I try to break it up, I'm gonna be aggravated. And it's nobody's fault but mine, that's the crazy part. All right, let's see how this came out. And it's a little small. Hopefully they can see it. No, this ain't a good look, that's a little too small. Mm, that's a little too small. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on that one. The, the this whole thing needs to be bigger. Just make this the whole thing, so folks can actually read what's going on. <laughs> to read so let's roll with that let's get two more copies going so we can have 30 and like I said these are really easy to take out and they have the clean edges so it just looks nice that go on the outside of my packages. So I'm just gonna make some really, 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 really fast. <laughs> and we're gonna turn that into a packaging sticker. For the packaging stickers, I have the Avery Glossy White two inch round stickers. These are numbered 22807. So I have that saved. I'm going to go back to Avery. Oh, these came out very pink. <laughs> the color is off a little bit. It's all right. It is okay. is all over the place. I probably should have did black. Let me just do black. This is too pink. <laughs> this is not the same color. I'm actually printing from a laser printer. So the way that it prints colors is like, it's not it dog. I was gonna do this whole thing over, but I'm gonna just print in, in grayscale. That's what we are gonna do. We are gonna print in grayscale. It'll be a nice little gray vibe. That's a little bit more, a little less jarring than this crazy pink. I'm running out of time. I'm tired. I could use these for something else. So it's not a total waste. 
that's not what I wanted. This is why you always print one to test it. Do as I say, not as I do. I don't follow my own advice. It's all right, I'm still gonna use those. It's okay. All right, so these came out gray. That works for me. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get a few more sheets of that. And I may have to finish this whole ordeal tomorrow because I am so tired and it is late, okay? So while the other ones are printing, I'll just start putting these on just to get some out the way. <laughs> the stickers on the mailers very simple brand at all times as often as you can you don't know what the mailman likes to buy the mailman might want to go shopping the mail woman might want to treat herself to something so put your branding as many places as you can where it makes sense all right so that's that all right, y'all, so what I'm going to have to do off camera is go in for each customer that this applies to and print out a shipping label for them. I'm debating if I'm going to put a packing slip because, again, these are replacement pages and I included an explanation inside of the package as to what they are so they wouldn't be confused. So I don't think I'm really going to do a packing slip. Mm, I don't know. I got to think about it. the benefits of the packing slip. Is it does have the brand's contact information but I also included that on the information sheet so I don't know but yeah I'm gonna do that off camera I can't show you everyone's address and then um, I probably won't get these to the post office until tomorrow because they are already closed for the night so why brace my back getting over there when they're not even gonna touch these until tomorrow but I can at least get the labels on. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with a final roundup of everything. But if not, thanks for hanging with me. This is a situation that would have previously had me pulling my hair out. But you know, you just, like I said, you cry in the car and then you G up after, okay? You just got to have to get the problem resolved. No matter how you feel about it, no matter what the expense is, well, you gotta think about the expense but solve the problem to the best of your ability without beating yourself up um i always say over communicate in this case i'm actually doing it like preemptive because like i said these are future months so most people haven't even seen this mistake yet so i don't want to cause a stir by emailing them in advance and saying that this is coming i don't want to confuse anyone i just want it to be a clean simple they get it in the mail and they see it i am taking the risk of assuming addresses um there may have been people that moved but we will cross that bridge when we get to it like i said it's easier so having to communicate with 31 people and go back and forth is a lot that would overwhelm me so i'd rather send these out if there's any if anyone for some reason has moved it'll get kicked back to me and that will alert me to get in touch with them and that'll be well before this error even pops up so this is my preemptive action, but usually if there's any ish client related issue, um, I just recommend to over communicate, provide a resolution, you know, take accountability, apologize, and just keep your people happy because people do not have to shop with you. I will, I will say that to my last breath. People do not have to shop with you, so I do not take it lightly. So I wish these were all orders. <laughs> Imagine if these were all orders. Imagine if these were all profitable envelopes. Instead, they're, they're expenses, but it's okay. It's all right. Anything for my customers. They're called the paperclip. They picked their own name before I launched my brand, so yeah. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow. All right, y'all. I got it all done. I thought I was gonna come back on to the video this morning, but it was a lot going on, so. Got everything finished. Got a bunch of them. Actually, two of the orders that I thought were included were duplicates.
so it turned out to be a total of 29 um and in the midst of that i got a couple extra orders so that's nice even things out don't mind my outfit it really doesn't make sense it's like 60 degrees with snow still on the ground just don't even worry about it but yeah i'm feeling good um when I sent out the, I sent all of the customers the tracking information and then it had like a little blurb saying that you're receiving replacement pages. Some people look like they've read it already and some people have messaged me and said like, what am I getting in the mail from you? But it says it right in the email. So that's why I said I didn't want to send out all these communications to people. So I'm going to get these out tonight. It's Friday and hopefully everyone has them by Monday or Tuesday. Um, like I said, the issue was on future dates. So it's nothing that they need immediately, but I just wanted to get it done. And whew, I'm glad this is over. And yeah, I just gotta, I gotta tighten things up around here. But yeah, this is not a typical vlog. This is more of a issue resolution. And maybe I'll be back next week with a real vlog, like a regular day to day, hopefully, we'll see. Like, subscribe, thanks for hanging out. Have a good weekend.